Um, what was? Give us a market recap. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yesterday, the Dow lost. 205 points, close to 21,844 on worries over North Korea. Uh, First-time job list claims increased by 3,000 to uh, 244,000 as the labor market continues to improve. And inflation fell one-tenth of a percent at the wholesale level. Now, the VIX, or volatility index, jumped 44% to 16.04, its highest level since May. And investors bought the safety of the 10-year U.S. Treasury, taking the yield down to 2.21%. One segment of the market that's been a little disrupted is the retail. Uh, what's going on with Macy's and Kohl's? Well, we got a look at the retail space yesterday with reports from Macy's and Kohl's. Uh, both saw increased traffic, which helped their numbers, but it's still a difficult environment. Uh, same store sales, a key metric for retailers, fell 2.5%. At Macy's, much better than the 5.2% drop in the first quarter. Now, Kohl's same-store sales were down 0.4%, which was much better than the 2.7% drop previous quarter. Uh, but bottom line, it's getting better, but still more, you know, more work needs to be done at those retailers to get their foot traffic up. What about oil and OPEC? Uh, oil and OPEC. Now, OPEC increases production in July despite their pledge at the end of last year to decrease production. OPEC wants tighter supply, so the price will go higher. But increased production from Libya, Nigeria, and Saudi Arabia is making that pretty difficult. Total production from OPEC increased by a half percent to 32.87 million barrels a day in July. With our increased production, oil has been between $45 and $55 a barrel. It seems like it's going to stay there for a while. The uh, the earnings report. What do you have on that? <laughs> yeah, the, or just earnings in general. Uh, we are over ninety percent finished with earnings this quarter, and the numbers look good. Sixty eight percent of companies have beaten on sales, while seventy eight percent beat on their earnings. The average gain on sales was five and a half percent, and the average gain on earnings was nine point seven making this the best earnings season we've seen in a decade. Uh, technology has been the best sector, followed by health care and financials. So pretty good news out of you know, companies and their earnings, at least right now. So. so what does that mean for today's market? What do we expect? Well, well today the Dow looks off you know, on the futures uh, by about 20 points. It's a light day for economic numbers, but geopolitical events will dominate again today. So we have to wait and see what happens on that, that side. So. There's a, uh, a lot of wait and see going on out there. Scott Carruthers, Stiefel Nicholas, thank you very much. Have a great weekend.